Hi class, uh, my name is Matthew Sokol and I'll be your instructor for the course. Um, I want to welcome you to Math 117 for um, the accelerated summer session. And so what I want to do in this video is just kind of walk you through the basics of this online course to kind of show you where everything's located in the classroom um, and kind of go through like a lot of the frequently asked questions that you would have starting a uh, internet course. Okay, so when you log into your um, Blackboard, you're going to see the, the link for our site, for our class, I mean, so you'll click on it. And when you log into the classroom, this is roughly what you're going to see. They'll be a little bit different with the announcements as I update uh, announcements after recording this video. But you'll always enter in the announcement section. Okay, the announcement section, you'll get a bunch of announcements from me probably a couple of week, just kind of telling you what's due and any any changes that are happening in the course. There won't be many changes, but anything that's of news to you will, will get sent via announcements. All right, what you should next do is click on the course syllabus link. Okay, you should download the course syllabus here. It's also listed right here for us. I'm just going to go through some of the more important details of the class here. I'm not going to read the syllabus exactly, but I just to go through what's important to you, at least on day one. Okay, so if you ever need to get in contact with me, email is the best way to do it. Um, if you ever want to meet via uh, office hours to uh, go over topics or problems that are giving you trouble, let me know. We can do office hours by Zoom. Uh, it's really easy. I can share my screen and go through things with you. To, for this course, you're really just going to need two things uh, in terms of course materials. You're going to need a My Math Lab code. Okay, this is going to give you access to our learning system called My Math Lab. It's also going to give you access to the textbook uh, electronically through that as well. And you're going to need a TI-83 or TI-84 graphing calculator for this. Um, if you don't have one of those, um, you can download a free emulator off the internet for it. Um, but you, you'll definitely need a graphing calculator for this course. Okay, so what is this course about? So this course is a quantitative literacy designed for students in liberal arts, social sciences, humanities. So it's not designed for math majors or STEM majors. Emphasis will be on the practical aspects of math. We're gonna talk about problem solving techniques, personal finance, utilizing a graphing calculator, organizing data, the normal curve, methods of counting, probability, um, and a little bit of research on the internet, but mostly we're just gonna to stick to those first main topics. What you can see here is a breakdown of everything we're going to cover um, by chapters in the textbook. So from that textbook that we'll get to in a second, we're going to cover chapters 1, 2, 8, 11, and 12. So basically we're going to cover problem solving, something a little bit about what's called set theory, we'll get into personal finance, counting methods and probability, and then we'll end the class on statistics. Okay, grading. How will your, how will your grade in this class be determined? Okay, well, there's really only two things that make up your grade. Uh, you're going to have an open notes final exam that's posted in the classroom. I'll get to that in a second. I'll show you where that is. That's worth 100 points. And then you're just going to have uh, homework assignments posted in My Math Lab. And they're actually already all posted there for you, so you can work uh, as ahead or as quickly or as slowly as you want. So there's going to be a total of eight homework assignments. All right, they're already posted in My Math Lab, and they correspond to the topics above. Okay, so chapters one and two. Problem solving and set theory have one homework assignment each. And then you'll notice that chapters 8, 11, and 12 are a little bit longer. They're going to have two homework assignments each. They're basically a one homework for the first half of the chapter, another homework for the second half of the chapter. Okay, each of these homeworks is also worth 100 points. So forget the little typo here. Um, there's a 900 total points in the class. There's 100 points for the final exam. So the final exam is worth 11% of your grade. And then a little bit of a typo here. Sorry about that. The uh, eight homeworks total 800 points. They're going to be worth 89% of your grade. So basically, I'm just going to take whatever your grade is in the class. Say at the end of the class, you have 700 total points. I'll divide that by the 900 total points in the class. And you'll get a 77, 78, so I'll give you either a C plus or B, depending on your effort in the class. Okay, the rest of it you can read through on your own. Um, if you have any questions about any of the syllabus, just please let me know. Okay, so you'll notice when I was talking here, I talked a lot about My Math Lab. So you, one of the first things you have to do is register in My Math Lab. You will have to buy a My Math Lab code. So our My Math Lab course is paired in Blackboard. So to register in the course, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this My Math Lab page, and you're just going to click this link. 
right here. Click this link right here, okay? And you're just gonna put in the My Math Lab code you purchased. I think it's something like a 25 digit code or something, okay? And it'll pair you right with the course, okay? You do not need to know the course ID because if, if you try to register in My Math Lab by not clicking on this link in Blackboard, it will not let you, okay? So click on this link and then just follow the instructions. All right, if you have any trouble with this, email me. We can hop on Zoom and, and walk through it. Next thing you'll notice here is I have this tab called Discussion Boards. We click on that. I have a general questions forum here. So if you ever have any questions and you don't want to email me, you can just post it right here. I'll check it every day and get you an answer as quickly as I can. Um, I also have a forum here called Class Intros and Register in My Math and Math Lab Confirmation. You know, if you want to post a bio here just to um, introduce yourself to your classmates, please do so. Also, please post here once you've registered successfully in My Math Lab. What I'll be able to do is log in and check and make sure everything's okay. So, like, you know, I've already posted my bio here just so you can see stuff about me. And if you want to post something similar, um, please feel free to do so. Okay, then over here we have the chapters of the class. Each of these tabs is exactly the same, okay? When you click on chapter one, you'll see a little bit of an introduction, a checklist. Um, you'll see a, a folder called Matt's Chapter One Lectures. And for every section of the textbook, when you click on this, what you'll notice is that I've recorded a video lecturing you on the main concepts of it, okay? Chapter two has the same exact thing, what we're gonna cover, what you should do to clear everything out in chapter two, and my corresponding lectures in chapter two. All right, and you can see they're just linked from my YouTube page on this, and all the lectures are gonna follow a PowerPoint there. So you should download the PowerPoint as you watch the lecture. Okay, you'll notice that within each folder here, there's a link to the homework for this section and the e-text for the section. So let me just show you what, what this looks like here, okay? So when you click on one of these, it'll take you to the My Math Lab page, which looks something like this. This is the home page. There's an assignments, there's a tab for assignments. As you can see, all the assignments, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight assignments are all posted up there already, so you can just log in and, and work on them. The study plan tab is um, if you want extra practice within each section. And then the other one you're interested in is the e-text or the chapter contents. So for example, suppose you're in chapter two. You can just click on chapter contents, go to chapter two, click on the section you wanna read. And then just from here, you can view the e-text. It just might take a second to load up. read through the e-text here. Unfortunately, you'd have to print out each page um, by itself, so you don't wanna do that. You just wanna read it on, on the internet here. There's also some uh, videos in here that you can watch from the, the textbook author that might be interested uh, for you for some extra video lectures on this. All right, the last thing here you're gonna notice is the tab called Final Exam. You click on that. I've already posted your final exam for the class. Do not complete the final exam until you've um, completed all the My Math Lab homework. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna download a Word document or a PDF, whichever one you prefer, and write your solutions into that. Okay, so like for example, I'll download the PDF, I'll print it out and then I'll scan it. And then when I wanna submit a file, please note the only files that I will accept are Word documents, a PDF file, or a JPEG file. Okay, so if you take a picture on like your iPhone or something, make sure you submit it as a JPEG. When you're ready to submit your final exam, just click on this link right here, final exam, and then browse to your computer and attach, you know, basically whatever file you want for it. So I'm just gonna pick a random file here just for illustrative, just to show you. And then just hit this submit down here and it'll send me your final exam. I accept all work late all right, everything just needs to be submitted by 5.30 at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? I will accept work up until that exact time. I, after that, I will not accept any late work for any reason whatsoever. So if you decide to wait until the 29th and 30th to do the entire class and don't get it finished, that was a risk you took and that's on you. So 
just as long as you make sure you have all the assignments in by 5.30 at 11.59 p.m., I will accept them. Additionally, you could work ahead as fast as you want and finish the course as fast as you want as everything is already posted. All right, I know that was a real quick introduction to the course. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, shoot me an email or post to the discussion board.